Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Neuron Maniac. Hope you're all doing well. So today we're going to be discussing the structure of a neuron. First up, have you ever seen a PC wallpaper like this? Is it something from outer space? Guess what? It's a group of neurons. These are cells that transmit electrical signals across the nervous system. Nearly all neurons consist of a dendrite, the soma, and an axon. The myelin sheath and node of Ranvia are also structural features that we'll dive into a bit later. So from my last video, you would have learned that dendrites are branch projections of neurons. They receive electrical impulses, known as action potentials, and direct them towards the soma. Axons, on the other hand, are neuronal processes that convey action potentials away from the soma. These signals originate from the axon hillock via a process known as depolarization. As you can see, the axon hillock is slightly wider than the rest of the axon and connects to the soma. Fun fact, did you know axons of the sciatic nerve can be over a metre long? Wow! Next, we'll move on to the soma, otherwise known as the cell body. It's the metabolic powerhouse of the neuronal cell. Typically, it contains a nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, the Golgi apparatus, and ribosomes. Now that we've covered the critical parts of a neuron, let's move on to the myelin sheath. This axonal surrounding acts as an insulator, therefore increasing the transmission speed of action potentials. Just a little note, not all axons are myelinated. Schwann cells and oligodendrocytes form the myelin sheath. These structures are not electrically stimulated and belong to a group of cells known as glial cells but we'll dig into this deeper in another upcoming video. In the central nervous system, the myelin sheath is formed by oligodendrocytes. These cells wrap their processes around one or more axonal segments as shown here. Just take note, oligodendrocytes can wrap around more than one axon at a time. Schwann cells are similar to oligodendrocytes. However, they are only found in the peripheral nervous system. They have limited myelination capacity whereby a single Schwann cell can only cover one segment of a single axon. A typical exam question is to label the myelin sheath on an electron micrograph. Can you guess where it is? Ta-da! Now, if I told you this image is from the peripheral nervous system, then would this cell be a Schwann cell or a oligodendrocyte? Hope you said the Schwann cell. Now, I just wanted to show you this image of a group of unmyelinated axons. As you can compare to the last image shown, the myelin sheath provides the neuron structure and support, sort of like plasticing around copper wiring. Last feature of the day, the node of Ranvia. These are uninsulated intervals of the myelin sheath that contain voltage-gated sodium channels. Now, what are these straw-like figures you see on the image? Come on. Take a guess. They're axons! If you take a closer look, there are pinch points here and here, which are the nodes of Ranvia. These nodes are important as they are the sites of saltatory conduction, which prevents action potential decay along the axon. Sayonara! Thanks for- Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel.